Chapter five, mom. The answer is yes, my mom said. I didn't even get a chance to ask her. She just saw the little vermin in my arms and said, okay, now let's get this dog into the tub. Thanks, mom. I wanted a dog for as long as I could remember but we were going to wait until we got to Florida. Luckily, mom liked to go with the flow. He picked you for a reason, she said. Right, I'm the first sucker who fed him. She messed up my hair. Life's a journey, traveler. And we're all in, the, and we're all in for one heck of a ride. Hiking uphill is the best part of the trip. Never forget, she said. How could I when you remind me twice a day? She was 67 years old. She didn't dye her hair, which she kept short. No muss, no fuss. Nope, no fuss, no muss. You might be doing the math. Her age minus mine, a seventh grader. She'd have to be in her mid fifties when she had me, right? Except she didn't. I was 10 when she took me in. Get the towel, Mom said. We dried him off, and wouldn't you know, that little mutt was sort of cute. His coat was spiky. With the gunk gone, his eyes were gold brown. He tucked his tongue. I tucked his tongue into his mouth, but it fell out. Let's fatten him up, Mom said. Her saying yes to the dog so quick got me thinking. Mom, all those kids in the group home, you could have adopted any of them. I've always been afraid to ask, but why me? Why were you afraid to ask? She started frying up some hamburger. Sometimes I think if I talk about it, it'll disappear. Living room, living here in the apartment, my own room, dinner while we watched Dinner while we watch TV, you and me. Traveler, she said, you and I will never disappear. We're forever. You know that, don't you? Of course. You're a terrible liar, son. How do you know I'm lying? Because you do this adorable little thing with your eyes. They open a little bit wide and you look off to the right, Ben. It's like this, when Laura died so suddenly, I was at a crossroads. We'd always talked about becoming foster givers. And I thought, well, if I give the right kid, if I find the right kid, the one who really needs me, I'm going to do it. She stopped cooking to look at me full on. I just knew you were meant to be my son. How'd you know though? Magic. She wasn't talking to me now. She looked past me at the picture on the wall above the kitchen table. Mom's partner, Laura, watched over us every night as we ate. She had a true smile. Like she wasn't forcing it for the picture. She got cancer the kind that hijacks your blood. She would have loved you, Mom said. Then she snapped out of it and got back to cooking. There's not much here. You'll be hungry. You'd better go pick up some Chinese food. Now see, now she was lying. There was plenty of hamburger, even with the dog there, but I saw she wanted to be alone for a bit. She didn't like to be sad in front of me. Mom, they have this new cheddar at the supermarket. It's really terrific. Good to know. Hey, our new friend here, what are you going to call him? Not sure yet. You'll know when you hear it. I made a leash from a belt, a bathrobe belt. But I didn't need it. The little dog trotted right alongside me, all the way to the Palace of Enchantment and back. And he never once took his eyes off me. Even when he was eating, he wouldn't stop staring at me.
after dinner, when we watched Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan, it was the same way. Eyes on me the whole time. He had a thing about him that was hard to describe, like this very golden stillness. His name had to show that. Why are you smiling? Mom said. I don't know, I said. But I knew. It was so perfect, just plain old hanging out, Mom, me, and the dog. It was so safe. Maybe we could call him Woody. As in Woody Coffin? Right, scratch that. Coffin's a tricky name, she said. It's awesome. Remember how you said I could say, stay a smith if I thought Coffin was too creepy? There were lots of smiths in the foster care and Joneses and Washingtons. That was the best, the day you let me share your name. That was a beautiful day. Yes, it was. I just felt different. Like finally I was getting a little closer to becoming the person I was supposed to be. Even if I didn't know exactly who that person was yet. I like that you tell me these things. Oh, don't be embarrassed now, Ben. Ben, your friend is trying to get your attention. The little guy had slid out of my lap and trotted to the door. He put up his paw and yipped just once. I took him out and he peed right at the curb. When bedtime came, he wriggled under my shirt into my armpit. I woke up to check on him and his head was resting on my chest. He was looking at me with those gold brown eyes. It occurred to me that I hadn't taken a breath from my inhaler since the library and I was breathing fine. I ran my fingers through his coat back and forth and like no hair came off him. My lungs were cool around dogs who didn't shed a lot. You're awesome, I said. He drove, he dove at my mouth and licked my lips. Except for the breath, whoa. When I woke up the next morning, he was checking out the Chewbacca poster I tacked up by my bookcase. It was life-size, seven feet of a Wookiee staring right at you. The little mutt cocked his head like Duke. You are the weirdest dog I've ever seen. Like, dude, you are the weirdest dog I've ever seen.